Are you recording this? Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is Tuesday, September 24th. Okay. The time right now is 6.38 uh, p.m. So this is day three uh, of my uh, transferring my child swap account to Robinhood. Did I get an email? Nope. Did I get any notifications anywhere? Nope. Nothing happens, nothing changed. So I don't know what's going on. So I, at this point, I just wait and see. So on Friday, I initiate transfer, full transfer from Child Swap to Robinhood. And Monday, nothing happened. Today's Tuesday, so this is day three, and still nothing happens. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at my uh, portfolio accounts. And so we check it, uh, you know, the status of my portfolio here. So I'm, uh, my total gain and loss is down negative 28, uh, 28%, negative 28%. And my total gain loss is down 65%. Remember, at one point, this thing was like 30-something percent, almost 40%. Now it's down to 28%. It's just going to keep coming down as Tesla go up, as all my uh, uh, my portfolio go up. So the biggest thing that went up today was Misty. Went up a lot by 2%. Uh, the current price right now is sitting at 23.85. Tesla broke $14 for the first time in a long time. So it went up one one fifteen percent. I own a lot of Tesla, so if Tesla go up, my portfolio is pretty much going to be green. And then um, ULTY went up a little bit. It's ten forty eight right now. And then Coney went up one uh, percent. The 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 biggest down here in my portfolio, which is not even I mean I own three shares, so I don't even. Uh, I just own this because I was going to open new position in these guys, but it doesn't really matter now because I'm going to do a full wholesale transfer. So all these puny numbers, all these puny <laughs> stocks here, like fiat, crash, dip, it's not going to be relevant anymore. Why mag? Why uh, why mag? Uh, it's not going to be relevant anymore. And all these not going to be relevant because the strategy in Robinhood is a lot different. All right. So what happened to this account when when I completely transferred? Yeah, it's going to be zero. It's going to zero out. So I'm going to start all over again. So my strategy to start over again. Is I'm probably gonna put uh, a couple thousand dollar in here as a seed money, and and I don't know how much I'm thinking about investing. If I put my paycheck in here, that's about a thousand or thousand five hundred. That's what I did last year. But if I put, you know, if I take some money from Robinhood, that's another thousand, uh, maybe potentially two thousand to throw back in here. So I can potentially grow to three thousand a month just this account alone. You know, if I want to go that route. I'm really not sure. So if I were to start all over again, first of all, before I do that, I got to make sure my Robin Hood is situated. We're, we're talking about at least a couple months from now. If I'm going to do anything, it's probably going to be maybe December, January, probably January, because two years ago, I started in January 2023, I opened Charles Schwab account. I may just do it again, open Charles Schwab account. Okay. But this time I'm going to play a little bit differently. Last time I went in, I was very heavily on Tess Lee. And uh, and I built my portfolio around Tesla and then margin, but this time I'm thinking about I'm just going to go into IWNY and QQY the weekly. I'm just going to own all the weekly plan and that's it. Just throw all the money in the weekly plan and call it a day and let it auto drip and see how how that works. So I'm thinking about going that directions, uh, but you know still a couple months away. So right now it's just an early stage. I haven't really thought about it. You know, so that's my portfolio. Uh, the whole thing is up one thousand seven hundred dollars. So my account value went up to seventy eight thousand dollars. That's crazy. I mean, it's going back up. Uh, so a lot of people out there making fun of me, but guess what? It's coming back up. And of course, my margin is still sitting around eighty five thousand. The only thing that's left for me uh, this month is uh, is Clip. So when Clip pay me next Monday, I will get. I will get all the money in September. That means I will get eleven thousand dollars. Depending on how much Clip pay me, if Clip pay me more than forty forty cents, then I'm probably going to get eleven thousand dollars this month. If Clip pay me less than that, then I'm probably going to get less than eleven thousand dollars. So and then I wait until October to officially declare that I make eleven thousand dollars. Let me just show it to you real quickly here. Uh, in, investment income is kind of broken right now, and and this is one of the things that kind of frustrate me with Charles Schwab. One of the great features is we have to fix all these things and to go months and months not fixing these things, 
is is one of the reasons kind of like frustrate me about child swap and why I change uh, direction. So as you can see, it, it so the whole data is kind of off. You know, it just it's 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 ridiculous. It shouldn't be off that much. Uh, but anyway, in September it showed that I'm projected to make uh, eleven thousand dollar, and then it dropped back to eight thousand. What? That's crazy. Why? Why? Why is this even not fixed? It's been around for like, um, it's been this problem almost three, four months now. It's still not fixed. So there's a lot of things that Charles Schwab is doing. It's just they're not even taking the time to fix the the GUI interface uh, for the end user, for the customer. And to me, it's just so unacceptable. And uh, you know, maybe one month I can understand. One month is too long. But this is like it had been on the whole summer. It's been broken the whole summer. This data unavailable has been around this pretty much the whole summer. So it's at, at some point people are just gonna give up. I you know what? I'm I'm almost getting to the point where Charles Schwab number is is it's coming to the end. I mean it's just as a bank, it's a horrible bank. Um I don't even use it because it's so horrible because you can't even transfer I have a bank, you cannot it doesn't interact with each other. That's crazy. It doesn't interact that easy. So if I put money in the money market, I have to wait the next day to use the money. Can you imagine? Can, can you imagine to have this future? Okay, so I have. I want to. I want to use the money uh, to buy something. You know, like whatever it is. Okay, and use the money. Can you imagine it's taken out out of this account? Right now, I have margin. Just take it out of the margin. Yeah. Can you imagine have that feature? Wow. What a what a what a great idea. But they don't have that. You can't. So I put. I, I used to put cash in the money market. My cash used to sit in here, right? And every time I need the need the money, I have to like essentially sell the money market. The the uh, I forgot the name of the fund. Like Charles Schwab F. No, not F. F is Fidelity. It's like S W V X X whatever it's called. I have to sell that. And the next day, I get the money. It's like I have to wait a whole day. By that time, the fun is over. So where's that money sitting? Well, right now, it pretty much all that move into Robinhood. So, <laughs> uh, but I have to transfer back to my checking account, my my bank checking account, and my checking account. I moved to Robinhood. That's that's the old method. It's just crazy, crazy. I can see why people migrating away from Charles Schwab. It just it's just so ridiculous to a point where it's just stupid now. All right, Robinhood. Robinhood is really doing really well for me. Uh, overall, I am green across the board. So I opened this account back in July something. Uh, you know, somebody say July 13 when President got shot. That's when I opened the account. All right, and uh, and right now I'm up 233 dollar or five percent uh, from my opening account. So I guess as a portfolio, I'm doing really well. All right, so one of the reasons why I'm doing well is because I own a lot of Bitcoin, I own a, a lot of Ethereum, I own uh, uh, Misty, NVD, Kony, Tesla, ULTY, IWY, and these are my core fund. So when when the rest of the fund come in from Charles Schwab, you're gonna see this is a huge jump. I'm gonna make ten thousand dollars a month, four thousand dollar which gonna go into my investment, four thousand gonna pay off the margin. The other four thousand dollar, I'm going to withdraw. Uh, now, whether I spend it or pay my bill, it doesn't matter. I'm going to withdraw the money, so I'm planning to do that. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's the future here in the next, in a couple months. So until until a new strategy come along, until something happen. But in the meantime, I'm planning to grow uh, my core fund here. Just keep growing and DCAing down. So. Because right now I, I'm not DCing down in Charles Schwab, but I will DCA down with Misty here because I'm going to buy fun every single day. Um, so far, I'm doing really good. Okay, so uh, I'm really happy with this uh, with this account. I can't wait to get money in here. I can't wait to buy a daily occurrence. One of the things I'm looking at because I want to grow fast. You know, get to you know, ten thousand, eleven thousand, twelve thousand, really, really fast. Okay, one of the fastest ways to grow that is to buy. Some of these cheaper funds like ULTY give you a dollar, Kony, uh, Tesla, you know, they're less than $13, $14. $14. So they're much cheaper and you can get you can get more bang for the bucks on that. You know, just now a lot of people like, well, because 
you is if you own a thousand share, you're essentially going to get a thousand dollar, you know. So, um, and a thousand share of these guys only what, you know, for ULT wise, like less than eleven thousand dollar, and I make eleven thousand dollars a month. So can you imagine if I just go buy ULT Y with all the dividends, one hundred percent of the dividends received in October go into ULT Y? I will get a thousand dollar going into November. You know, so that is something that's something to think about. You know, um, and it's something that I'm interested in, in it. So we'll see. Let's let, first let's get the money in here, and then we'll go with Plan B. Okay, that's all. I just want to share that perspective. I uh, can't wait to talk more about this. I can't wait to see the fund roll in, and I can't wait to start buying and put because you, I'm not gonna buy. Right now, I set for a reoccurring of ten dollar every day. Every day, ten dollar. Well, when that money come in, this thing may be two hundred dollars a day, or maybe fifty dollars a day, maybe thirty dollars a day. It's all depending on how many shares I want to own. So, if I want to invest a lot of share, then then I gotta split up the you know the dollar amount among the shares. But if I only own, I want to buy only four or five and just grow those four or five, then yeah, this is gonna be like two hundred dollars per day. So you know, that's that's pretty amazing, but you know when you have ten thousand dollar, you can do a, you have a lot more option to do things. All right, with that, hey, say thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you all around. Peace out. Take care.